Hi, in this problem we're going to find the derivative of this function. So this is just a random problem from a book I have by Michael Spivak, and the book is called Calculus. And this is a cool book because it has really cool problems in it, and it reads pretty well. Okay, so to do this problem we're going to have to use the chain rule because we have an inside function here, and then we're also going to have to use the product rule because we have a product here. So I guess let me just refresh your memory on two derivatives. So the derivative with respect to x of the arctan function, so arctan of x, this is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. And now the derivative with respect to x of the tangent function, this is going to be secant squared x. So those are the two main formulas we're going to be using uh, on top of the chain rule and the product rule. Uh, I'll refresh your memory on the product rule. It says if you have a function f times g, you think of f as your first function and g as your second function, and it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So I think that's almost every formula that we're using. <laughs> it's quite a lot of formulas. And also the chain rule. Let's, let's just do it. Let's just go ahead and break down and do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to take the derivative of arctan of all of this stuff here. Right? All of this stuff here is your inside. So the chain rule says that when you take the derivative, you take the derivative of the outside function. That means we're going to use this formula here. And you evaluate it at the inside. And then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So basically, we just applied this formula. So the derivative of arctan is this. So it's 1 over 1 plus... And instead of x here, it's going to be this here. So it'll be parentheses tangent of x times to times arctangent of x quantity squared. Okay, that's, that's the inside. And then times the derivative of the inside. So this is going to be a product rule. So we're going to use this formula here. So this is our first function. That's our f. This is our second function. That's our g. So first and second, first and second. It's the derivative of the first, which is secant squared x, times the second, which is arctangent of x, plus the first, which is tangent of x, times the derivative of the second, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Running out of page. Sometimes I wish pages were longer, like, you know, they were. <laughs> but then again, you know, they wouldn't fit in standard folders. I guess folders would have to be bigger too, right? So... This is like a standard piece of paper. So <laughs> that's it. That is the answer to this problem. So kind of just a interesting problem from uh, a book I have. Good luck.